The name of Jesus was the focus of a prayer rally outside the governor's mansion in Richmond, Virginia over the weekend. More than a thousand people gathered to show their support for six Virginia State police chaplains who were forced to resign for praying in the name of Jesus. Wendy Griffith was there. Governor Tim Kaine banned the name of Jesus from public prayers. Hundreds of believers gathered outside the governor's mansion to stand up for Jesus and for the right of chaplains to pray in Jesus' name. When the state policy was handed down this summer, prohibiting chaplains from praying publicly in Jesus' name, state trooper Mike Honecker knew what he had to do. You know what, if, if Jesus is out of the program, then I'm going to have to get out of the program too. John 14 verses 13 and 14 where Jesus says if you ask anything in my name it doesn't say in, 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 in a generic name Jesus says if you ask anything in my name I will do it. The rally drew young and old even a group of bikers to support the chaplains. Some of the chaplains say this is bigger than a state agency or even the Commonwealth of Virginia. This is an issue dealing with our religious and our constitutional freedoms. This is about the existence and the direction of a nation Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Richmond. The troopers still have their jobs but are no longer serving as chaplains. Pat, there is legislation pending in the Virginia House and Senate that would allow chaplains, though, to pray in Jesus' name. You know, I uh, prayed for the uh, lower house, House of Delegates, and uh, they sent me this incredible uh, brochure of all these rules and things I ought to follow. And I, I wrote them, I said, you don't be ridiculous, I'm not going to do this, and you know, I'm going to do what I want to do. And uh, of course, when it was finished, uh, you know, they applauded my prayer, which they don't normally do, <laughs> but in any event, uh, you, you know, it's just terrible. We were a Christian country, we were founded by Christian people, and where is it that we have gone so far astray that a chaplain can no longer invoke the name of Jesus when he prays? It makes no sense. Well, some people are offended. Well, too bad. They are evoking the name of Muhammad and Allah and who, you know, Shiva and Vishnu and the various other gods Try of these to religions. Turn that around. If we were to go into the culture of where that is the predominant religion, no. I mean, you think we'd have the yeah, freedom to bring, say, "Gee, you know, that offends me." Bring, I think we bring need a to lawsuit that. in yeah. uh, Saudi Arabia to stop praying to Allah. And uh, watch what happens to you, how quick you'll be in jail and tortured.